Hello everyone, welcome to the course Engineering Mechanics Statics. My name is Anur. Today I'm going to talk about Introduction to Engineering Mechanics Statics. The question is what is mechanics? Mechanics can be defined as that science which describes and predicts the conditions of rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces. In engineering, mechanics is generally based on Newton's laws. And this is known as Newtonian or classical mechanics. We have to understand that using Newton's laws, it is very difficult to accurately handle situations involving the motion of bodies close to the speed of light and circumstances requiring consideration of bodies of extremely small size and mass. In this case, such extreme conditions can be treated in relativistic mechanics and quantum mechanics. In this class, we are going to consider only on the classical mechanics or Newtonian mechanics, mechanics which is based on Newton's laws. Branches of mechanics are mechanics of rigid bodies, mechanics of deformable bodies, and mechanics of fluid bodies. Mechanics of rigid bodies concerned with objects that do not change their shape or size under the applied actions. Deformable bodies concerned with objects that do change their shape or size under the application of force. Fluid body mechanics is concerned with liquids and gas at rest or in motion. So, in this course, we are going to concentrate only on the first branch of mechanics, which is rigid body mechanics. Rigid body mechanics can be further divided into statics and dynamics. Statics is concerned with bodies at rest or move with constant velocity. Dynamics, it deals with the accelerated motion of bodies. So, as I have tried to explain previously, in this course, we are assuming the objects or the bodies to be perfectly rigid. So, using idealization of rigid body mechanics, we are simplifying the problems and we can easily analyze the forces and the moments. So, our assumption is that the objects or the bodies are perfectly rigid. But in reality, structures are not perfectly rigid. They may deform under the application of forces. However, those deformations are usually small and they do not affect the conditions of equilibrium. That's why we are just ignoring the small deformations. But if the fact considered in the analysis is to determine the amount of deformations in a member or if we are interested to determine resistance of the member against failure, those deformations gain importance and in this case such bodies become the subject of mechanics of deformable bodies. So in our case we are just assuming the structure to be perfectly rigid. Furthermore, we are assuming the, the objects to be at rest or move with constant velocity, that's statics. Statics is a branch of rigid body mechanics that concerned with bodies that are acted on by balanced force. Meaning that when forces applied on the object the force that applied on the object has no tendency to change the state of rest or motion. So, for example, if I take this simple supported uh, beam here, I have F1 and F2. This is a, F1 is the inclined force and this is the distributed force. So, on the other hand, F1 and F2 has no tendency to change the state of this object. So, this object is 
in equilibrium so when we apply force this structure will also be in equilibrium so using the principle of statics we can obtain solution methods for the determination of support force at bodies in equilibrium or we can establish relationship between external loads and internal force distribution for example if this simply supported truss bridge if i take this example using the principle of statics easily we can determine support reactions easily we can determine the internal force distribution in the truss member using the principle of uh, statics